Hello, stay safe, learn Excel and that two minute. Today we are going to look at the dead count function and how to use the dead count function to display the number of sales based on a criteria. The criteria we are going to use here will be based on the other date. So the other date we are choosing 1st of February 2020. What it means is that that will be the criteria and one sales greater than 2000. So based on this criteria, where we have other dates being 1st of February and sales being greater than 2000, we want to find the number of sales in this data that falls under this criteria. To do that, we introduce our equal sign, introduce the decount function. We open our parentheses, we select the database, that's the whole of this database. What field are we interested in? We are interested, so comma, we are interested in the sales field. So we select the sales field, that's the heading comma then we select the criteria the criteria will be based on this whole range so we select the range then we close our parentheses then we enter voila it gives us two what it means is that we have two data or two line items qualifying under this condition but we have other dates being february and sales being greater than two thousand so you can see that it will be this and this now assume we change the uh, sales criteria to let's say greater than a thousand you see that it will increase which means it picks also it now it also includes this as you may even choose a sales data which is um, above four thousand five hundred you will see that it will just be one or two what it means is that in that criteria we have two qualifying that is this and this thank you very much for following us and continue to follow us on fred excel on this channel have a wonderful day bye bye